hello everyone this is frank and welcome back to this channel once again please if you are new here kindly consider subscribing to this channel but if you are old here thanks so much for coming back so today i'll walk you through how to design another awesome church flyer in photoshop and this is coming up so here in photoshop to create a new document you go to file new to create a new document and i'm going to set this paper size to a4 so i'm going for print and then i will select a4 here and then i'll hit on create i'll have this all right so hit on control zero to make sure that this document is centered okay so i'll be going for my ellipse to to add a couple of circles to this so i'll hold on shift left click and then i'll drag to draw a very nice circle here like this okay and then i'll make sure to change the color from stroke to a deep blue color hit on v to activate your move tool and then make sure to drag the whole thing on top like this okay so right click on the layer to rasterize it and then control t to warp it all right so i'll go for warp like this and then make sure to warp the places that i don't want so i will have to warp all these places off like this and then i'll come and stand here like this and then drag this down a little bit go for here and then drag it on top like this just take your time and then be playing around the whole thing to make sure you get exactly what you wanted all right so i'll still have to drag this thing here like that okay so i'll also come here like this and then make sure to drag this thing here like that okay so i hit on enter to accept the whole thing in photoshop all right so control a select everything and then make sure your ellipse tool is centered all right so control t to still add a little bit of transformations to this all right so this is exactly what i wanted and then i'll use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top like this okay so the next thing to do is to go for my rounded rectangle and then draw a very nice rounded rectangle here like this okay so i'll be having this there change the color from stroke to a yellow color okay let's try this color and see whether it will work all right so we're going for this and then i'll go for my move to and then make sure to drag the whole thing somewhere here like that okay so i'll quickly go to my notepad to copy this there all right the cry so i'll be having this there control c to copy the whole thing hit on t to activate your text tool and then control v to paste the whole thing there in this case i am using a font called acura so i will change the color from this to the deep blue color and then accept the whole thing in photoshop drag the whole thing on top like this control t to add a transformation to that all right so i will accept the whole thing in photoshop and then i'll be having something very beautiful like this okay so i will still go back to my notepad and then make sure to copy this there as well so control c copy the whole thing and then hold on alt left click and then drag this down like this hit on t to activate your text tool then control v to paste the whole thing there and then make sure to change the color from thick blue to white like that okay but in this case we are going to use a font called orula or arula all right so i will accept the whole thing in photoshop like this and then control t to transform it or make the whole thing very big like that okay so this is exactly what i'll be doing for now so i will accept the whole thing in photoshop like that all right so i'll go for my ruler and then bring one here like this and then go for the next one and then i'll set that one to there like that okay control a and then make sure the whole thing is centered control d to d select okay so control z to you know control d to this and control z to undo what we have done already so use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top like that okay so we'll be having this there like this okay so the next thing i'll do is to go for the week all right so control or hold on alt left click and then drag this there again and then hit on c then we have a week like that all right so control a select everything and then change the font from orula to a font called akira so we having this there like that okay so control t to add 
transformations to that so we'll be having this day like the all right so i set the whole thing in photoshop and then use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top so i'll be going for the theme of this program so i'll still go back to my notepad and then copy the theme so we'll be having this the control c to copy the whole thing hit on t again to activate your test tool and then control v to paste the team there as well okay so we'll be having this the control a select everything and then make sure to change the font from acura to a font called acrobat and then make sure the whole thing is in black so change the font type to black okay so control t to make a transformation to that and then i'll hit on enter to accept the whole thing in photoshop like this okay so i'll add a little bit of rectangle to this so i'll draw a very small but beautiful rectangle here like this and then make sure to change the color from stroke to a white color okay and then i'll accept the whole thing in photoshop like this all right so use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing underneath my team all right so control j to duplicate it and then use your arrow keys to drag it to fit the ruler i have set okay so i'll double click on the team layer to change the color from white to this yellow color there like that okay and then i'll hit on v to activate my test to or my move to as well okay i'll go back for my weak layer hold on alt left click and then drag the whole thing underneath my team hit on t to activate my test tool again and then control v to paste the theme of the program there like that okay so we'll be doing i'll be adding a little bit of transformations to that so that the whole thing can be fitted to our circle or the rulers we have set for this program all right so i will hit on t or enter to accept the whole thing in photoshop like this and then use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top like that okay so we'll be having this day and i think the whole thing is just becoming beautiful okay so control t to add a transformation to that like this just take your time if you are working with rulers okay so we'll be having this day like that let's still go back to our notepad to copy the text of the team so control c the whole thing has been copied and then i will come back for my team image or my team layer hold on alt left click and then drag the whole thing down like this and then control a select everything and control v to paste the text there like that okay so we'll be having something like this and i think the whole thing is just becoming more beautiful control a select everything and then change the color from yellow to a white color like this okay so use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top of the document okay i will make sure to change or add a little bit of transformation to my team it's too small and then i'll have this there like that okay so control z to undo what we have done already so we'll be having this there like that okay so still hit on t to activate my test tool again and now we're having 18th that is actually the date for the program so 18th like this and then i'll change the font from apple back to a font called mont sarat so we'll be having mont sarat here like that so we'll be having 18th like this but in this case we are going to use the blue color the thick blue color as the date accept the whole thing in photoshop Control t to add a transformation to that let's enlarge the whole thing small accept the whole thing in photoshop by hitting on enter i'll be having this there like this okay so still hold on alt left click and then drag or better still can hit on ctrl j to duplicate the whole thing there like that and we'll be having 23rd like that okay accept the whole thing in photoshop like this and i'll still have to set a ruler to this okay so i'll still go for one and then set it here like that okay so i'll go for my 18th and then make sure my 18th is fitted to the ruler i have set 
so i will just have to take my time to do this i save the whole thing in photoshop like that i think they still have to add a little bit of transformations to that okay i save the whole thing in photoshop and then drag it underneath my 23rd so we'll be having this day like that okay so i will select both layers and then I will select both layers and then drag the whole thing on top like this okay so this is exactly what I wanted I will still be adding a couple of rectangles to this so I'll add I'll draw a very small rectangle here like that and then make sure to change the color from stroke to this yellow color so I'll be having this yellow color there and then I will accept the whole thing in Photoshop use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing underneath my 23rd like this and then hit on c as my test tool and then we having this there 22 so october 2022 and i am writing 2020 oh god 2022 select everything and then drag the whole thing on top of the rectangle you have drawn accept the whole thing in photoshop and then ctrl t and then you add a little bit of transformations to that okay so hit on enter to accept the whole thing in photoshop like this and then make sure the whole thing is centered all right so still be adding a couple of rectangles to this so i'll draw a very nice rectangle here like this and then make sure to change the color from white to this yellow color all right so i'll hit on v to activate my move tool okay so i'll still go back to my ellipse tool and then i'll make sure to transform it a little bit so ctrl t and then i'll still go for warp and then i have to you know move this place a little bit like that okay so i have to do this i told you if there should be any kind of corrections we'll be doing that as time goes on so We'll be having this there like that okay so hit on enter to accept the whole thing in photoshop and then i'll go for my 18th layer and then i have to group the whole thing like that okay so we'll just hit on shift to you know select the whole thing and then i'll have this ctrl g to group the whole thing and use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top like that i don't think my 18th layer has been selected so i'll drag it into the group one and then use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top like this okay so the next thing to do is to add um the time for this particular program so i have to draw a very nice circle here like this as well and then make sure to change the color from stroke to a white or a yellow color okay so i'll be having this yellow color there like that and then i'll drag the whole thing on top a little bit like that all right so ctrl j to you know duplicate the whole thing and then i have to you know change the full color to zero and then right click on it you know go to the blending options and then we'll be adding a couple of stroke to this all right so i'll change the stroke color to this deep blue color and then make sure to change the size to something small like this. you know accept the whole thing in photoshop and the control c to add a transformation to that okay this is becoming more and more beautiful hit on t again to activate my test tool and then i will add the time for this particular program so we'll be having this the control a and then change the color from blue to a white color go for my move to like this and then drag the whole thing into the ellipse or the circle drawn okay so i'll be having this there like that okay so control j to you know still make a duplicate on that and then you know select everything there and then we'll be having the time as seven o'clock pm so seven o'clock pm accept the whole thing in photoshop and then make sure to hit on ctrl t to add a couple of transformations to that so i'll be having this there 
like this okay this is becoming more and more beautiful Control j again and then make sure to drag the whole thing underneath like this and then hit on t to activate your test tool then they select everything and then we having 10 o'clock pm we having 10 o'clock pm like that all right so accept the whole thing in photoshop and then drag it on top a little bit like that okay so let's add a couple of rectangles to this so i'll draw a very nice rectangle here like that and then make sure to change the color from stroke to a white color okay let's yeah okay let's maintain the white color for the meantime and then i'll set the whole thing in photoshop drag it on this layer so i'll make sure to be on top of the of the whole layer all right so i'll right click on the layer to rasterize it and then i'll go for my polygonal lasso tool and then i'll have to start here like this drag the whole thing here like that and then left click left click left click and then come back to my starting point and then i'll hit on delete Control d to deselect and then i'll hit on v all right so i have to drag the whole thing here like that but don't forget that i have to add a couple of you know transformation to this so i have to transform the whole thing to fit my document like that Control c to rotate horizontally so i'll accept the whole thing in photoshop like that and i think this is exactly what i've shown you guys on the tab nail all right so this is what we have for now so i'll also go back to my file manager to add a couple of um, images to this so i'll drag and drop this image in photoshop like this okay so i'll have to you know add a transformation to this so i'll have to transform the whole thing to fit my document so i will have to you know bring the whole thing here like that okay so i use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing to fit my document like this okay so the next thing i'll do is to go for the main work and then make sure to add i just want to use these styles i have used here so i will only have to you know copy the whole thing so i'll drag the whole thing like this into my main work like that and then make sure i'll have this there like this and then i think this is becoming more and more beautiful okay so i'll still be adding rectangles to this so i'll drag and then draw a very nice rectangle here uh, like this and then make sure to change the color from stroke to a blue color okay so i'll be having this there accept the whole thing in photoshop like this and then use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top like this okay so that is where i'll be having the name of the pasta so i'll still go back to my notepad and then copy the name of the pasta here so Control c the whole thing has been copied and then i'll hit on t to activate my test tool and then Control v to paste the whole thing there drag the whole thing on top drag the whole thing on top of the uh of the rectangle i have drawn okay so we having this they just hit on v and then drag the whole thing on top like this Control c you know to add a transformation to that and then accept the whole thing in photoshop like this okay so what will happen here is that i'll go back to my ellipse tool and then Control j make a duplicate and then drag the whole thing here like this Control c Control t you know to transform the whole thing to become something small like this accept the whole thing in photoshop and then i'll bring the whole thing here like that Control t again to add a transformation to that okay so we'll be having this there like this so Control t you know to rotate the whole thing a little bit like this and then accept the whole thing in photoshop all right so here i'll make sure to you know create a space for myself so i'll drag this re rectangle down like this and then come for the rectangle here with the name of the pasta as well so just hold on shift select the two layers and then make sure the whole thing will be dragged downward like this and then finally i'll go for my ellipse to copy one and then drag the whole thing here and then make sure 
I will, you know, transform it to become something big and bigger like this. Okay, so I will save the whole thing in Photoshop like this. So what will happen here is that I'll be adding a stroke to this ellipse to copy one. So I will only have to go for my blending options and I'll have to select stroke like this okay so in this case i'm going to use this um size the size should be 18 and then the whole thing must be outside as well and then the stroke color is white and then i'll hit on okay all right so i'll be having this there like that okay i'll hit on t and then i'll be having like wait all right so we'll be having this there make sure to change the color from this to white all right even the color is already in white so we know I accept the whole thing in Photoshop and then Ctrl T and then I'll add a transformation to that. Accept the whole thing in Photoshop and then I'll be having this. This is too small, you know. I'll still be adding a couple of you know transformations to that. Then I'll be having this there like this. Okay. So I still go back to my ellipse tool and then I have to draw an ellipse tool here like this and then make sure to change the color from stroke to you know a blue color or the thick blue color like this and then drag the whole thing here like that okay so right click on the layer go for my blending options and then i will add a stroke to it but in this case i'm going to use a white stroke and then make sure to increase the size from 18 to something 29 like that okay so ctrl t you know to warp it a little bit so we're having this then and then i have to hold here and warp it as i'll show you guys on a thumbnail use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing here like that beautiful okay so i have to even close this box there like that okay so the next thing to do is to go for the venue of the program so i have to copy all this here like that so ctrl c to copy the whole thing and then hit on t again to activate my text tool and then ctrl v the whole thing has been copied and then change the font from monster art to a font called acrobat and then make sure the whole thing is also in black like this okay so i'll have to change the color from blue sorry white to this thick blue color like that accept the whole thing in photoshop and then you know drag the whole thing down like this all right so ctrl t you know to add a transformation to that so that the whole thing will look more big and beautiful use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing here like that okay i still go back for my rounded rectangle and then i'll draw a very nice rounded rectangle here like this okay so we'll be having this there like that okay so i have to change the color from stroke to you know a blue color as i told you earlier we are only using only two colors for this particular flyer so we'll be having this there and then i'll make sure the whole thing is on top like this okay i know exactly what is happening already so i have to change the whole thing from stroke to this blue color here like that accept the whole thing in photoshop and then make sure to position the whole thing very very well i still go back to my notepad and then copy this day so we'll be having whatsapp here the whatsapp line for this particular document or the whatsapp line for the pasta is this all right so hit on t again to activate my text tool and then control v to paste that one there like that all right so copy this the control c to copy the number only and then i have to delete it again change the color from you know blue to a white color and then you know i'll drag the whole thing on top of the rounded rectangle i have drawn i set the whole thing in photoshop like this okay just hold on alt left click and then drag this there select my text tool and then control v i'll paste this there like that control a select everything and then change the font from 
from Akoba to a font called Mons Sarat. Okay, so let's still create a space for ourselves here. So I have to drag this rectangle on top like this and then go for my venue and then drag the whole thing on top like that as well. And then I'll go for my WhatsApp and then my rounded rectangle there and then I'll make sure I hold on shift to you know send the whole thing on top like this and then finally I'll go for the number and then I'll use my arrow keys to draw or drag the whole thing on top like that beautiful so I'll still go back to my notepad and then copy this the special district joint uh, Friday service so I'll only have to go back to my whatsapp like this drag and then the whole thing on down like this and then I have to copy the whole thing here like that okay I'll go for my whatsapp like this and then hit on alt drag the whole thing here like that hit on T you know accept the whole thing in photoshop and then control V to paste that there as well okay so control A select everything and then make sure the whole thing is close to each other like something like this okay so I'll accept the whole thing in photoshop like this and then make sure to add a little bit of transformation to it we having this there and then i'll have to drag still have to add a little bit of transformation to that so i'll be having this there and then i'll accept the whole thing in photoshop like that okay and then i'll change the color from white to this thick blue color yeah, we're having this day like that okay and i'll hit on b to accept the whole thing in photoshop all right so the final thing to do is to add the name of the church the name of the church to this particular document so i have to draw a very nice ellipse here like that or a very nice uh, circle here like this and then make sure to change the color from stroke to a white color something like this so and then i'll drag the whole thing here like this this is becoming more and more beautiful all right so control j to you know duplicate the whole thing and then the fill color i will set the fill color to zero and then make sure to add a stroke to the copied ellipse too all right so i have to you know select my stroke like this and then change the color from white to blue something like this but the size is too big so i have to you know reduce the size to the required size i want all right so control t to accept to add a little bit of transformation to that and then i have to do this there like that okay accept the whole thing in photoshop all right so i'll still go back to the back to the original work i have a date and then i'll make sure to change copy the name of the church here like that and then i'll be having this there like that okay so i'll drag and drop this to the tutorial work i'm doing here like that so i'll be having this there like this all right so this is exactly what i want i'll still go back to the original work like this and then copy my layer like this and then drag it also on top like this okay I'll make sure to leave all the resources in the description for you guys to follow suit. Okay. So the Church of Pentecost in Quanta area presents. Alright, so present to be having this there like that. Okay, so control A, select everything and then change the color from blue to a white color. And then I have to change the font from Orula to a font called Ben Hard Function. So we're having this there. Ben Hard Function is here like that okay so accept the whole thing in photoshop and then make sure to position the whole thing very well control t to you know enlarge the whole thing a little bit like this and then accept the whole thing in photoshop like that okay so i want to thank you all for having time for this particular tutorial and i want to say may god wish you bless you all and i am out